What a beautiful place. Thanks for bringing me here. The pleasure is all mine. So, what kind of church do you attend? I am a member of a historic, independent, unincorporated non 501 c 3 King James only, Sovereign Grace Baptist Church. Well, oh, you shouldn't be so vague. Just kidding. Our church is just a strictly Bible-believing New Testament church. Yeah, mine too. So how many people go there? Around 15. 1,500 or 15,000? No, 15 people. Oh. Well, that's nice, I guess. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues without right. Proverbs 16.8 Right, that's what I was thinking too. So, how big of a tax write-off are you going to get this year from giving to your church? Zero. Because our church is an unincorporated, non 501 c 3 Church of Jesus Christ. Our church is not some two-headed freak show. Our only head is the Lord Jesus Christ, not the state. Yeah, totally. So what seminary did your pastor graduate from? He went to the same one that Peter, James, John, Timothy, and Titus did. Bob Jones University? No, he didn't go to any seminary or Bible college because no such institutions are found in the Bible. Pastors are supposed to be trained and ordained by other pastors, just like Timothy and Titus were by Paul. Yeah, I totally agree. So, what is her name? Her name? Yeah. Your pastor, what is her name? Our pastor is a man. Women cannot even speak in church, let alone be pastors. The Bible says, Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. 1 Timothy 2 11 and 12. I'm sorry I asked. So, how many people are in your choir? We don't have a choir because they are unbiblical. Church members are all supposed to sing together. The Bible says in Ephesians 5:19 that church members are to be speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. So no choir, huh? Okay, so do you have just the piano? Or a full rock and roll band? We have no musical instruments whatsoever, because the Bible only commands us to sing. Why did I ask? So, how many Sunday school classes does your church have? We have as many Sunday school classes as we have women preachers, pianos, and choirs. We have no Sunday school classes because they are unbiblical. I hope the food gets here soon. So, what kind of Christmas program is your church having this year? We don't celebrate Christmas because it's a Catholicized pagan holiday which has absolutely nothing to do with Jesus Christ or Christianity. So your church doesn't have a choir, you don't use musical instruments, you have no Sunday school class, and you don't have a Christmas program. So, what exactly do you do in church? We keep the ordinances as they were delivered by the apostles. Our church service consists of prayer, preaching, a cappella singing, communion, and feet washing. Sounds boring. Who came up with that novel idea of a church service? It is anything but novel. Jesus Christ instituted this form of worship nearly 2,000 years ago. This is quite possibly the worst date I have ever been on. Your church sounds too biblical for me. As the psalmist said in Psalm 119 128, Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right and I hate every false way. Yeah, yeah. So how many souls has your church saved? None. It is God's job to save souls, not ours. We preach the gospel and tell people about how God has saved his elect by his grace. When people believe the true gospel, they show the evidence that they are the elect of God whom God has saved by his grace. Waiter. Check please. Have fun in your Bible-believing cult. It was nice dining with you. Have fun at your entertainment facility that you call a church.